Hey everyone, Mathel here once again with a new build. The new build that I showcased just earlier. But, uh. In honor of, uh. First of all, yeah, in honor of, um. Twitch suppressing my freedom, I'm gonna sit here in Camhor for a bit and. Let's just do some flexing for no good reason, because, you know. Gets the views, am I right? Yeah, okay, that'll do. I think there's uh, some games to be actually played here. So, what is this build? I'm now level 85 on this guy, and it is my crit ball call tendril? Call tendril ball. Ball tendril call. Ball tendril call is the build. So, it's like three lightning spells, and uh, they each have a purpose in the build and in the clearing. So I'm gonna rock out with a Necro and uh, just some Magic Monsters, Nemesis, nothing too serious. But I'm only level 85 so I haven't really traveled past 75-ish um, maps yet. So this will be probably the limit that I'm going to showcase just at the moment. So I'll uh, show off the build a bit and then, uh, you know, just for the map. And then do a bit of um, talking about what it is, how it's happening, what my setup is, and whatnot. So, also talk about it while I'm doing it, you know. So what I'm doing is mostly killing with Ball Lightning and um, Val Arc. Val Arc? Val Stormcore. And I'm using Tendrils on a 3-link just as a heavy single target skill. Usually, it's actually used pretty rarely for me in this build, but it does get some use when, um, let's say, a rare monster comes up to you and it's still not dead. It's, it's better off to just Tendril it than Ball Lightning it, and it kills a bit quicker. I don't like um, Tendrils too much as a standalone skill. I find it's pretty nice in a combo with the rest of this stuff. But by itself, meh, yeah, I don't really like it too much. It does some good damage, it's just it's got a weird sort of clearing capability. You've got to really go heavy on the um, AoE. And I have crashed. No? Yes? No? The fuck was that? Ah, uh, I think all servers are killing themselves. We'll sit here and wait. Yep, this is happening. Are we still in business? Let's have a look. Still got a Necro up. So we're using four different reservation things. Two Auras, Clarity, and Lightning. And Herald of Thunder and Herald of Ice. Herald of Ice does some serious damage in um, the pack settings. And Herald of Thunder spreads my Assassin's Mark, which gives me my power charges. It also, since this is a really heavy lightning spec, um, Herald of Thunder actually does some DPS too. It's mostly just for like stragglers and some single target. It's obviously not going to do a lot of AoE, 
but it actually, yeah, it, it hits fairly hard. So Storm Call, Val Storm Call does a lot of damage and it resets really quickly, so I really do like it in this spec. Um, I'm using it in a 4 link, and Ball Lightning is in my main setup in the 5 link. So Storm Call goes around, it crits a few mobs, and because of that, um, Herald of Ice explodes, does a whole bunch of damage. So it really, like, the synergy is just insane. The um, build's biggest weakness, in my view, is if you lose momentum. Like, it's amazing if you just keep up your momentum, you keep plowing through things, keep getting your storm calls up, whatever. That's pretty good. If you have to stop, if there's a, if you don't have your, you know, um, power charges up, if things don't get crit, if you come up against a few mobs that are pretty tough and you don't crit a few times or you don't have your power charges thus causing no crits don't have your storm call something like that so if you lose your momentum it can be a bit rough I mean more often than not it's not going to cause you to die or anything it's just it's uh, it's you know it, it gets pretty tough to get going gonna have to use quite a lot of flasks or something like that. So what else is there to say? Right now um, I have pretty low amount of mana reserved, uh, unreserved and uh, I don't know how much I like it because this is the first time I'm trying it with um, my linked reduced mana, life leech and herald of ice because I have Val Pact and Whenever your Hero Device explodes, it will give you extra leeching. Instant extra leeching. So it's I'm testing it out to see if it's worth doing and how nice it is. Because I'm thinking um, it's one of the reasons Reflect can be pretty tough on packs. When all those um, Hero Devices are exploding, it deals quite a bit of damage to you. Even when I have Val Pact, because... Yeah, it's just not actually leeching anything back. So I went ahead and linked that up. And it's just caused my mana to be a bit less free. So I used to have something like... 700 mana. And that was pretty comfortable to cast as much as I liked. Right now I'm feeling some restrictions. So I can't cast my Ball Lightning with my Arctic Armor up as much as I'd like to. I'm getting maybe three or four casts off. And then it's a bit slower down. So, uh, jump into the boss. Drop a Storm Call. Got interrupted while doing it. Raped. Um, so we get rid of Arctic Armor. It's not going to do me much more good. And that was a pretty easy boss kill. Don't pick up 71s for the most part. So Storm Call, it's, while it's really good for clearing too, it also um, is pretty insane for single target. You usually want to save it for a boss. And quite often, yeah, like, I'll pop it for that once you zone into the boss room. Pop it, it'll help with phase one, it'll kill off all the monsters, and um, it'll reset enough in time for uh, phase two as well. So you get to use it twice. So it's just uh, about learning certain fights and knowing when to use it and where it's going to be most effective for you. I think that's about all for the map, or all I care to clear anyway. So I'll jump back out. I'll show off a few more um, what I'm doing. So here's my witch. I am dual wielding daggers. We got one dagger here with as much spell damage, as much crit as you can possibly get and throw some lightning leech on it. And another dagger here, very similar. Much crit, much spell damage, lightning leech. 
Other things that are just bonuses on top, if you can get them, mana regen, um, crit multi, some resists, that'd be nice too. I am using Voidbringer Conjurer Gloves, they give massive crit, massive crit, and plus one level of elemental gems, so that is where my Stormcall is, and the Stormcall is linked to Lightning Pen, increase crit damage, and spell Echo. So I cast two storm calls whenever I click, and that creates extra deeps. My main attack right there is Lightning Tendrils. Let's get our Hero Device back up. Lightning Tendrils, 34k without power charges. It's on a three link, which is Lightning Tendrils, crit damage, and conk effect. Here is our Ball Lightning, 7.9. It's not the most DPS because I don't have much cast speed and that doesn't really reflect the real DPS of it because I only shoot like one ball, maybe two balls, and a pack dies. So cast speed is not that crucial for this build. You get a bit of it and you put it, as I have, in your 5 link as well. Ball lightning, fast casting, crit damage, lightning pen, added chaos, I have that just so reflect a little bit easier as well as lightning resistant mobs so that'll help added lightning does virtually the exact same amount of damage a little bit more it'll probably help a bit more with the leech I'm not sure which way I'm gonna swing at the moment using a carcass jack eh, I want the range fine I wanted some uh, Extra ES, bit of evasion. It's it's overall a decent chest. Chest slot is pretty up to you. You can go a Cloak of Defiance. I tried it. It's good for regen if you need it. It's also good for mom, but it can be a bit annoying when you get hit. And uh, mana needs to regen. You can't cast as much. Your Arctic armor is taking a bit longer to regen, etc. Random Helm. Some life some strength, some dex, you're going to need both of those. Probably just dex, actually, with my new tree. Um, resist. You can go, it's a pretty flexible option. Purity of Lightning, Clarity, Reduced Mana, Arctic Armor. Uh, that doesn't matter that it's reduced mana or anything, it's just there because that's where I have an open slot. Two rings. This is a pretty baller ring. Excuse me, right there. Pretty baller ring. Found that myself, not sure what it's worth, but it's pretty good for the build. You want mana regen on your rings? Same one, or same sort of thing, mana regen, some life, bit of resist, all good. Neck, uh, it's just something I had, it could be better, obviously. Dex, you're going to need that, strength, probably going to help out. Uh, multi, some crit, regen would be nice, I don't have it on this neck though. Uh, I'm using a Duriani's Invitation. I just then swapped to it. Now to get an extra 1% leech. So now I have 3% leech on all my lightning. It's pretty good. Up until then I was just using a belt with life, strength, and resist. Boots. I've been using Rainbow Strides ever since level 53, I think it is. Um, they're not really crucial or anything. Whatever boots you can find that are good. Bit of ES would be nice, bit of mana, get some regen on it, but otherwise you want some movement speed and you want some resist. Flasks, kind of optional. One movement speed flask would be nice, one instant heal flask is nice. An Aziri flask I find works pretty well, gives you extra leech, especially now that I've Vulpact. A Surgeon's Topaz, doesn't have to be Surgeon's, I don't think you get that much back from the crits because most things die to like an instant crit, but it's probably the best option. Topaz Flask, gonna help a lot for certain fights and for your Reflect. Sapphire Flask, could be a Sapphire, could be a Mana Pot, could be another It Series um, Flask, could be a Rumi's, can be a Ruby, it's up to you, mostly. Pretty customizable, I'd say. So there's my stats on that. My dex, I had to take a 30 point dex node because my gear doesn't accommodate for it yet. I will fix that eventually and drop my 30 dex node. For the passive tree itself, I'm starting as a witch because I get the extra 40% mana regen as one free point. So that is ideal. 
You can, of course, be a silent, you can be a shadow, they will both work. But I wanted to get as much mana regen as possible to run the Arctic Armor and to have good regen for my ball lightning. Did I not show anything else? No, I showed this. So I'm something like 11k with power charges here, it's something like 45k with power charges there. So you go through spell damage, get the cast speeds, because meh, cast speeds a bit better than spell damage there. Grab those, get the crits, get the AoE, mana life, pretty damn good. Life mana, pretty damn good. All this lightning damage with your power charge. Cast speed and 20 dex, that's mostly why I went for this, because uh, cast speed and 20 dex is pretty hard to pass up when I need both. EB, that gives you a lot of mana regen. Crit multi. Diving straight into some life and ES. Good nodes. These really good nodes will fill these out eventually. Down here, crit, amazing. Lightning damage, pretty amazing. Amazing node here. And projectile damage and speed, that's for your ball lightning. Grab your power charge. Then we branch out this way. Grab these nodes, they're pretty damn good. Um, inner Force, that I will probably be taking. I tried it, I reverted it, I'll probably go back to it. Um, because it buffs your mana regen and your lightning resist from Purity of Lightning. But it also buffs your Arctic Armor, the effects that it does, on top of the drain. So I'm finding I'm just not regening enough mana anymore. Uh, with my arctic armor up and inner force I start to lose mana instead of uh, plateau or gain it. I will fix that um, as far as regen goes somehow probably get it on my neck something else maybe a dagger and I'll go for inner force again because I want that extra arctic armor buff. Then we go through here we grab vile pact and all this life this life wheel will give you the bulk of your life in the build Vile Pact. So I tried a bunch of things, um, spell block and all sorts of block nodes and wearing a shield and a few block items and stuff and I really didn't end up enjoying it. I think uh, it took too much away from the damage of the build, the crit feel, and it still wasn't that great for Reflect. It helped a lot but you're not immune and meh. With Vile Pact on now, I uh... Reflect is really pretty manageable, yeah. So I have the 3% Light Leech, but I also have the It Series Flask I'm using. I also have the Life Leech attached to Herald of Ice and a Topaz Flask. And 79 um, resist, Lightning Resist, thanks to Purity of Lightning. So all in all, that makes Lightning pretty manageable as far as Reflect goes. So that's how I ended up dealing with Reflect. You could go a heavy spell block thing, I didn't end up liking it. You could go a Voltaxic, I feel you're going to lose a lot of crit by doing that, and it's a bit more expensive. So that wasn't my desired option. All in all, this is the build I'm currently running, I'm having a lot of fun. Ball Lightning, I've really wanted to use it for a long time, here it is. The Heralds really supplement the build and make it manageable to the level it's actually playable. Plus, Vile Storm Call, I've never used it before. Now that I'm using it, I'm pretty much in love with it. It's bloody amazing. Lightning Tendril is really good for single target. Um, you could throw it into a Fall Link somewhere if you chose to instead. Probably go with Lightning Pen, something like that. Uh, you could drop one of these skills probably Lightning Tendrils, I'd say, if you're going to drop one of them and get cast when damage taken set up, because otherwise you're a little bit vulnerable to melee hits. Big, successive melee hits every now and then. That's kind of a danger. Otherwise, I'm going pretty well. It's, yeah, it's a pretty fun build. It's pretty, it's working pretty well. It's kind of safe once you get everything going. Just leveling though, up until level 70 or so, so before maps I hadn't died at all, so that's not a problem, but after that I started maps, I started trying out different setups to deal with Reflect, because by level 70-ish, that's when Reflect's going to really start to hurt you. 
and so you need to by that point have done something about it so this will be the build uh, I might get a guide up if people seem to want it but this video should cover just about everything you need to know yeah so one last um, Yeah, yeah, well, you know, whatever. That's the build, crit, ball, tendril coal. Hope you guys try out the lightning stuffs. It's a lot of fun. Critting's a lot of fun. Oh, actually, what I didn't mention, 49.5 crit on all three of these with five power charges. That brings it up to about 62.5. That's a, I found a pretty good amount of crit over 55 or so feels good 50 yeah it can still be a bit streaky anyway so i'm mathel this is my spec hope you guys have a go one last massive flex as i sign off and see you guys next time <laughs> i'm not good at cam yet so with practice guys with practice see ya